So the HAL ST6000 is receiving 45 baud code on the DS3100 ASR and that loop is a 60 milliamp current loop and the line comes in to another room the 60 milliamp current loop is connected via opto isolator couplers to a TTL level converter which is then fed into the external modem input on a PK232 TNC. And the purpose of this is to convert BODA to ASCII because the computer connector or monitor connector is in fact an ASCII connection. I need to uh, change this ASCII connection from 1200 baud to 110 baud with two stop bits which the PK232 is not capable of doing and that feeds then a 20 milliamp current loop from TTL and that can drive the 110 baud ASCII teletype writers. So I'm using that as a converter from baud out to ASCII and it's bidirectional keyboard and uh, typewriter. So this is the boot up sequence of the PK232 And after it boots up, it's in the receiving mode. And as you can see, the BODOT code from the HAL unit is being converted to ASCII at 110 BOD instead of 45. And it shows up on the teletype writers. So because I don't have a Model 15 BODOT teletype writer, I can use my Model 35 and the 33 ASR units. So there you have it, in the receive mode. Now going the other way around, from the keyboard to the HAL unit is a little bit more complicated because we don't have the benefit of the automatic keyboard sense that the HAL unit uses. So we have to go into the transmit mode on the PK232 by typing X and return. So now I'm typing something, but then I can't receive the immediate results. This is the uh, BBS access, so I got to quickly go to the receive mode by hand, and it just cuts off the response. But I was able to actually send a message to the HAL unit through the ASCII teletype unit, even though the HAL unit is working in 45 baud. Baud up. So I'm successfully using more modern ASCII teletype writers, which are 110 baud, 7-bit ASCII, even parity, two stop bits, on a baud 45 baud RTTY system.